Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. We got an exclusive hot news. Don't know whether it's true or not. It's allegedly. But girl, what is going on with the staff, the 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 castmates of the Real Housewives of Atlanta? It's so much of shakeup is going on and it's really a hot mess. So we have to be in messy deal once again. But we're talking about Candy Burris and Jeannie Mai. The word on the street, allegedly, in YouTube world, Jeannie Mai from The Real may be replacing Candy Burris. Maybe not on 14, but maybe 15. Yes, we on the little two bus, okay? The ghetto bus. Because I'm just not understanding any of this at this point. I thought Candy was going to give us a couple of more years, but evidently Bravo is tired of all the overpaid OGs. And Candy's pretty much the last one of the OGs that's getting paid. And it's a hot mess. And she's not bringing anything. Okay, but yeah, that's the real Jeannie Mai, remember? She married Young Jeezy. Okay, so I guess she feels like since she shares a home in Atlanta as well as L.A., she can be a part of the staff as well over at, their, uh, over, over at the Real Housewives of Atlanta camp. Okay, so I'm just here. I'm getting it from Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Okay, Gary with the T spilled it for us. Or spilled it for me, I should say. <laughs> the title of his article was, Will Jenny Mai be replacing Candy Burris on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Well, I don't know. Let's go on into the source. All right. Um, with season 14 on the way, the cast of Real Housewives of Atlanta is still not fully finalized with rumors of Jeannie Mai taking Candy's spot. And I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. Now, I know Candy was supposed to have got hot and heavy with somebody, and she had shared some disappointing words, but she had to come tell us before we even seen anything flash out on our TV screens of season 14, The Housewives. What is going on? People tell me. Was it bigger than what Candy had expressed? Did tempers flare? And did Candy just say, fuck it, I'm gone? Uh, I want to know. But going back to the article, it says, Sources say that the cast will be shaken up with Cynthia Bailey and Portia Williams leaving, Sheree Whitfield returning, and Marlo Hampton promoted finally getting her peach. The returning housewives Candy, Kenya Moore, and Juice Adore were joined with newcomer track field athletic person Samuel Richards Ross. According to a show producer, Jenny Mai is rumored to be taking Candy's spot due to Candy being boring in the season's filming. Now, of course, some of this also comes from media takeout, and we know how sometimes they can be a little bit misleading, but it may be some truth in it to it as well young jeezy and ja jenny janny Gianna, my okay i guess she he she is his first lady okay but going back to the article it says candy was boring this season and she's the highest paid housewife she's gone after this season they saying she's gone after this season said the source this new season is expected to be one of the best in years. Sheree and Marlo are the stars of this season. Drew brought the drama, and so did Kenya. But Sanya and Candy are on the chopping block. And I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. We just got uh, Sanya Richards Ross, the Olympian champion um, in the running sports or what, you know, that category of the Olympics. Uh, so why are we getting rid of her? We haven't seen her. I mean, y'all just finished taping. I mean, what's going on? Let's give her at least two years. I guess y'all shoving them in and shoving them out like you did Kim Fields and Shamari Duvo. But it is what it is. If you don't come snapping, popping, and cracking, I guess Real Housewives of Atlanta team said, we don't need you. We don't want you. Goodbye. Boom. <laughs> All right. Um, 
this may going back to the article it says this may or may not come as a surprise because the housewives veteran has contemplated leaving the franchise before you just con contemplate like i don't know when is her time candy said in an interview with the jasmine brand it's not like it's not like a definite answer you know what i mean co-hosts of the real jane Mai and jeezy will be making an appearance this season at drew sador and her husband's ralph vow renewal with other celebrities the two reported have a house in atlanta where they split their time between there and los angeles there's no confirmation if the new mom will be officially joining the cast or an air date of the season 14 premiere now i do have to tell y'all when we do have people that's going to be a part of the show whether it's a permanent peach holder or a friend of the show they usually are taping with them so it may be some truth and validity to Jeannie Mai coming on to the show because they don't have to pay her that much not like they've been paying candy for a very long time and haven't been serving us up any type of drama okay so i mean we got rid of nini we got rid of cynthia we got rid of portia yeah it's time for us to definitely get rid of candy okay that's just how the cookie crumbles they definitely had this platform for a very 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 long time but as usual sometimes you have to put people out the door to uh to let them uh be free so they can fly and soar even higher you know they've had the platform for a while like i said they should have been definitely investing their money real real well and viciously in the stock market or any other 41k plan they may be a part of or whatever you know what i'm saying they've given you this platform for a very long time you should have been able to do something with it and don't make it feel like the company's just getting rid of you because they're tired of you no they're not tired of you it's just you're not bringing anything to the show candy functions real well with her family biologically speaking is there with her and they showing out and showing up and improving and showing and you know giving us drama but candy really don't give us that um and and that's just a shame because she's been on the show and she still don't know how to play the game to be uh one that you want to go and make and really see each um what do you call it each episode as it airs to us each sunday in atlanta so that's not surprising to me and it's probably not surprising to her but ken is one of those people where she's not going to quit not something as lucrative as being on the real housewives of atlanta and six figure salary no ma'am no sir no lord she's going to keep on keeping on until they tell her they don't want her no more and they probably trying to tell her that in some short roundabout way but i guess candy really wasn't taking it how they wanted her to take it like be uh good with it start preparing your speech we're going to give you lesser roles we're going to give you lesser episodes to be filmed in you know just trying to give her a hint so they don't have to really like spell it out to her like they pretty much had to do nene and portia in a sense you know what i'm saying it is what it is it's not personal it's always business in entertainment world okay so candy should definitely be um uh, on to that and what they're trying to do and they're basically just trying to get her salary away from her so they can pay they can get more fresh faces in and pay three people probably worth um candy salary that they're paying her now for just her so they want more bang for their buck and candy's just not giving it and of course kenya's definitely solidifying her position for probably several more years to come because she knows how to make drama happen and she don't have to put her hands on anybody <laughs> you know they be want to put their hands on her but she knows how to keep her hands to herself and don't catch any assault charges or anything she pretty much has to explain to bravo because she don't like bravo in her business if that was the case we would have saw her marriage to mark take form or shape or whatever but she kept that on the hush hush excuse me she did what she wanted to do when it was caused to do something and when she wanted to pretty much i guess um serenade or go over there and stroke bravo's execs um egos or whatnot to let her back into the franchise you know and they like candy and they may give her several spinoff shows even after the one that we're planning to see can in the game i mean she's very good when it comes to her three uh supportive 
uh, ladies over there her mom and her two aunts and she's going to definitely do well with candy in the game because even a little part we saw as a trailer excerpt that they gave to us it was it was entertaining it was holding my attention and it was full of drama uh not the kind of drama that you want to just pick up your hands and go hit somebody type of drama not that but you know just some messiness good messiness and good banter between you know whatever scenario they were playing or scene they were trying to let us see at the time so Candy to me works good behind the scenes and that's what she pretty much needs to stay just like she's a background singer but she really thinks she's a out front singer or a solo actress singer no 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 Candy works good in the background she knows how to position people and, and make them be wherever she wants them to be in whatever scene she's a good supporter person you know that's basically all I have for Candy there so I don't know uh, I would like to see new faces come in there and try to do the darn thing and try to uplift uh the real housewives of atlanta where it seemed to be black women doing their things they're having their businesses they're doing stuff in the community they have loving families you know just every day in the grind but letting us see your business aspect other than your bad attitude and your bad characteristics and demeanor we don't want to see all that. We don't want to see no uh, catching a case. You know, you know, we have to go down to the uh, courthouse and file, you know, complaints and this, that, and the third and cease and desist shit. We don't want to see all that, okay? We want to see you doing what you need to do to make a living for you and your family and how you're getting it done. We want to watch those pieces and the celebrations that may come in your husband's life or in your life or in your family you know what i'm saying milestone celebrations here so candy hasn't been giving it to us for a while so we understand that like i said cynthia was a bump on her loud she definitely wasn't giving us that they wanted to bring her back as a friend of the uh show she sat with delaying or debating on whether she wanted to do that instead of saying it's a it's a no-brainer cynthia if you want to be uh, what you want to be which is a uh, peach holder still and they don't want you to be that but they said we can't throw you a bone you can come in sometime here and there to be a friend of the show if you like but other than that we don't need you baby goodbye and she had to contemplate I'm like baby is you gonna be the lap dog or you're not just just let us know let, 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 let's tell us what you want okay lap dog okay you got a position no lap dog you don't your ass out okay and she was struggling over that I mean see that's where we go with Cynthia and candid i will it would behoove her to just leave you know just say i had my good times you know it's been what 12 14 solid years with the uh crew and it's my time to go now my whole thing i don't know what Todd gonna do what are you gonna do with Todd, honey is he gonna be one of your employees where he's over at the L O O O L G, and you know right now um <laughs> That's all I'm really concerned about. I know Candy gonna be good, but what uh, Todd gonna do? I just don't know. I mean, Jeezy got a job. He still raps, I guess, and do something. I believe. Uh, I don't think he's just hanging around the house, but he is a household name in the rap community, so we can anticipate him doing a little something. something you know what I'm saying? Um, but Todd, not so much. So maybe he's gonna be daycare dad again, or. I have no earthly idea. I'm not even going to lie to you or try to make something up. I don't know what Ken is going to do with Todd. Because he's going to pretty much be out of a job. Uh, so it just is what it is. But I I kind of would embrace uh, Jeannie. As long as she don't try to act, you know, black or out of her norm way of thinking and moving and shaking. You know, we don't want her to be black and, and show us, you know, slang talk or just did a third she grew with us because she's trying to be black no we don't want that one we want her to be authentic uh show us some of her asian culture or whatnot if she's asian i don't know if she's asian or what what Viet, uh, vietnamese or I, I don't know what her uh culture is or her background racial background but we know we would love to see jeezy in the studio his comings and goings and them uh definitely um putting their baby out there showing us how they parent their ch uh child um you know stuff of that nature 
you know, the woman, you know, cooking up the bacon, bringing it home, the man doing the same. And then they're trying to raise a family in all the midst of the chaos of their working worlds. So that would be definitely nice to see. Now, hopefully it will come to fruition and we can upscale uh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta to a little more excelling and celebrating exceptional women that are on the uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta instead of degrading them, dehumanizing them and making them look totally ass like fools out there pretty much acting an ass out there because that's their legacy for RHOA for the longest really since its induction so we really need them to upscale uh, the amount of women that's being uh, shown on their platform and do better with them you know what I'm saying you do it with Orange County you do it with the Beverly Hills girls and uh, the New York girls so why not the Atlanta girls because they definitely hitting those numbers I mean they were kind of boring the last couple of seasons but this one seems to be maybe a show that's going to go towards bringing it back when it first came out or at least the second or third season okay but that's all i got this is a room y'all it's all allegedly but it's out there it's out there and people are talking about it it was on a ricky smiling um show morning uh chit chat gossip show with um gary with, uh, gary with the t and he's not gonna put something out there that wasn't prone to be a reality sooner rather than later but you know we might be seeing jenny mai on season 15 for the real housewives and we'll be saying goodbye to candy all right i know a lot of people y'all wanted her to go myself included but i want her to do better and do more uh than what this platform has offered her to do because it's very it's been very lucrative for candy don't get it twisted and it's like and it's hep, uh definitely have been opening up a lot of doors for her as well that she probably wouldn't have had if she was not on this show and i think she would acknowledge that uh that definitely uh real housewives of allowing have definitely played a, a major role in a lot of her uh endeavors um uh, that she was able to um uh, have and it be lucrative money or uh, streams of revenue coming from being on this platform like her definitely her sex toys line her being able to pay out for a home allegedly um uh, and just getting into other markets where she's producing and making um uh, theatrical plays and stuff of that nature so she's a good person behind the scenes she's just not really that good in front of the camera uh where she's doing and, and moving and shaking and stuff of that nature so Yes, it's time to say goodbye to her and bring on new meat to process and view from the optics way of looking at things and see what they can do to make real Housewives of Atlanta better uh, than what it has been in the last uh, running years. But that's all I got for this video. Get down in those comments. Let me know what y'all thought about uh, that piece of news I brought to the home front. And let's digest it, dissect it, and and. and Take it for what it is, okay? But I'll talk to y'all next video. Bye-bye.